makes that iPhone so revolutionary, so smart, such an emblem of you know, the new economy? Well, it's what you can do with that phone. You can surf the internet. You can know where you are anywhere in the world through the GPS that is embodied in it. It's extremely easy phone that you know, almost anyone can use because of the touch screen technology. It's also a phone that increasingly has these very handy areas like the Siri voice activated personal assistant that you can talk to and find the nearest restaurant nearby. Here are directions to Belvedere Hotel. Well, all those technologies, internet, GPS, touchscreen display, the Siri voice activated system, and basically all the communications technology behind that phone were funded directly by government. Apple, even though it's a very innovative company, and one that should be applauded for its innovation, doesn't actually do much R&D. They rely mainly on existing technologies and are very smart in then putting those technologies together in really cool ways. Steve Jobs was a genius in terms of really having a vision, but it's important for Apple to recognize what it has in fact received and give something back so that future Apples can be born. Silicon Valley, which is an area where I, I discuss in my book, received massive state investments. Don't forget Google's algorithm was funded by the National Science Foundation. They're in the papers every day today about how little companies like Apple, Amazon, and Google, in fact, are paying back to the public sector. What we don't know, in fact, very few papers have covered this, is just how much these companies actually received from the government. We haven't actually admitted that the state is indeed one of the lead risk takers in the innovation game. So many players in industry, in the real economy, are increasingly relying on the state to create this massive wave of new opportunities, which then they can just surf on. And so the big worry I have for the future is who's, who's going to fund this wave in a time where government budgets are being attacked.